Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Unreal World Let's Play. Um, sorry if I don't sound so great. This is, um, attempt four, I think. You'll notice I'm not in the same place I left off. It's because... I've had three failed recording attempts of this episode. And that's just so far. <laughs> I'm really getting tired of recording this. I didn't miss much. I checked the traps and I cut down a bunch of trees. That's basically it. And I complained a lot because of the re failed recording sessions in the second one, or third and third one. So I'm trying different ways of recording it, which is why I'm having so many issues. I tested all of these methods before I started recording, and they worked. Try it now, and it just keeps breaking. So I'm actually like on the last of the alternatives that I tested, and maybe it'll work. The reason I'm trying alternatives in the first place is because the of the blurriness that's been showing up in the videos. I do want to get rid of that <laughs> if I can, but it's just not working out so well right now. Hopefully it will work this time and I won't be completely wasting my time trying new methods because I spent like hours testing and then all of them broke. It's just really discouraging. But because I'm using new methods I'm just doing sort of busy work. Nothing too important. That way, if it fucks up, I can just sort of shrug and say, at least I got some stuff done off screen. What's the hope, anyway? Whether or not it works out that way is yet to be determined. My frame rate is already starting to drop right now. It's only at 29 from 30. But. It's starting to drop pretty steadily. 28 now. Yeah, this doesn't look great. Hopefully it will stabilize at some point above 25, which is around the point where it starts to be noticeable on YouTube that the frame rate is dropping. And really at this point, like, if the quality is a bit bad on my end, but you can't tell on YouTube, that's good enough for me at this point. I just don't mind anymore. <laughs> but this, sesh, this uh, method I say for last specifically because it has some of that blurriness, but it wasn't as bad. So. This is the highest quality I can manage right now without using the same recording method, which you know how that looks. This is literally the best I can do, I think. If not, it's pretty close. Oh yeah, I made a bow too, and killed a capricel, whatever their bird, those birds are called. It was in one of the loop snares. But yeah, you really didn't miss much. Just like I said, new s method, so mostly just busy work, gathering materials and stuff. 
since it needs to be done anyway, and if it ends up off screen because of an accident, then I don't think you guys really care. I mean, do you really want to sit here and watch me cut down trees all day? I guess some of you do since you watch the videos where all I do is cut down trees, but I don't think you'd be that upset to miss that part. Especially since you've seen it so often. Yeah, it's these parts where the game has to like perform some task over a period of time and the CPU use spikes for whatever reason. Those are the parts that my frames per second seem to drop at. I guess it's just overtaxing my computer. Which isn't that hard to do. This computer is pretty old. And if any of you have been around since my Dwarf Fortress videos, you know that the age does get to it sometimes. In Dwarf Fortress it was the frames per second that suffered most because the CPU just couldn't keep up. of her not being able to make fire. I mean, I know it's actually kind of difficult to do. Like, I couldn't do it if I were in the woods for some unknown reason trying to survive out here. I don't know why I did that. That was pointless. Oh well. So, I think I actually want to start expanding the house a little bit. Um, we do, we need what? I want it to be a little bit wider, I think. So, six, nine, twelve, eighteen logs. Okay, well, I'm going to bring all these up. There's 15. And I'll get the rest tomorrow. So 15. Just need a few more. One nice thing about expanding the house is that it's a lot of work and fills up a couple episodes, but at the same time, if I off-screen some of it, it doesn't really matter that much, I don't think. So, again, it's stuff that I feel safe doing while I'm testing a new recording method because of how much could go wrong. And sorry, my voice is just going to hell. Like, I'm trying to maintain it, but it's... <sighs> I've been talking for at least three hours now. <laughs> it's pretty bad. My throat is killing me, but... I want to get an episode out. At least whining about this has given me something to talk about while I'm doing all this busy work. So, not as much dead air as when I'm usually doing boring shit. I've actually been considering starting a second project and alternating them. Like, I don't know what project I want to start though. This game is definitely going to take a while to finish, which is why I'm considering doing a second project. Normally I would just stick with this one, but it 
takes so long to do anything in this game that I think I'm going to be playing it for quite a while still before I feel like I'm actually done with the project. I love that I can just pull around 10,000 pounds worth of wood. Like, I know it takes a while, but even if it took me a while, I'd, even if I had infinite time, I don't think I could do that in real life. It's just really impressive to me. At least we don't have to worry about food so much. One second. Okay, sorry. Um, my headphones are starting to hurt. Again, I've been talking for a very long time. So, now to carve these into into um logs. One nice thing about having a bigger house is we can actually move some of our junk inside, which I like. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, I guess, but it just feels better to have a house that I can live in and do stuff in. Because right now, basically, all we have is a little smoke shack. It's not even really a house. Like, it, it does well enough, I guess. If you need a place to stay, a little smoke shack like that is definitely enough, but it's not exactly a nice place to live, I guess. It doesn't really matter in-game, but I guess I roleplay it a little bit. I keep saying I guess. I'm really sorry. That's starting to annoy me, and I didn't even realize I was doing it until now. Fuck. But yeah, I have roleplayed a little bit. That's why I don't do stuff like sneak around everywhere to train up my stealth skill and things like that as well. I don't do much skill training at all, really. Occasionally, I'll fire arrows at the wall or something if I have bad arrows because that does raise your archery skill. And I don't know, it seems like something that a real person would do if you've ever fired, like, arrows at a target. That's basically the same premise. You're shooting at an inanimate object to get better at shooting. Speaking of, I would actually really like to take up archery. Never gotten a chance to, really. But it is something I would like to do. I've always been interested in bows and stuff like that. But I've never actually been able to fire one. It's really sad. <laughs> And the reason I only counted these four is because we're going to just tear down these walls and expand from that. So basically I need to build a north wall here, a south wall here, then tear these down and build the walls there and then move the edges over here. That's what I'm thinking. So I might have done something stupid and forgotten my
one of my walls or something, but I don't think I have. Oh, I forgot I need logs for, or boards for that. Well, I need boards anyway. So I'll grab the shitty ones and bring them up. It's no use using the good boards on this. Frame rate is still dropping, but very slowly. It's down to 25 now. And the shutters, I think they look kind of awkward at first, but then they change to match the walls they're next to. Something like that. Because if you build one just standing on its own, it'll look like it's facing off to the side or something. It's really weird. But it looks like it's facing the right way this time. And like I said, if you just leave it alone, it'll face the right way once the walls are finished. Around it. I normally don't build shutters, but I kind of wanted to this time. Basically all it does is it lets you look outside your house. It's not that special. But it works. I think you can shoot outside of it too. Like you can aim your bow through the shutter and attack something that's in your backyard. Well in our case our like field I guess. There you go saying I guess again. Sorry. But yeah, it'll give us a little bit of view over the field, I think. Yeah, see? You can see through it. So we can look over our field a bit. Not that it's really that important to do so, but we can. I don't know if I want another shutter at the bottom. I guess so. doesn't hurt anything. So it may as well. And rest. And repeat. Ow. Sorry, um, I wear glasses and I have headphones on that push my ears back really hard. So it's a bad mix, especially after a long period of time wearing them. Fill this for me, please. Thank you. <sighs> okay, then I just need two walls that we already have the wood for this one and this one, and then the edges and then I'll tear these two interior walls down and build them again over here and we'll have our walls done. Not able to move right now. game. 
and yeah, I'm using the inferior boards for the housing because it really doesn't make a difference. I'm going to move the firewood in, but I don't want to light it just yet because it won't be able to do its thing anyway while I have the walls down. Uh, deconstruct. I don't think this despawns our door, or deconstructs our door. Shouldn't. Door's already up. Yeah, I don't think it did. And these walls need to come down so I can build floors where they are. deconstructing that after I talk to the sheep. So, this episode's not going to be the most exciting, but if it works, it should have better quality than the last couple, at least. And if it does work, then I can do more entertaining stuff next time, and not have to worry so much about losing it. But because I am worried about losing it, I'm just doing the house stuff because... Well, if I lose it, then it's not really that big of a loss. It's mostly repetitive anyway. Okay, I need a southern wall here. So far, not much in the way of errors. Bitrate is going down a bit, but it's been worse. Hopefully this works. I'm really hoping this will work. Should be able to finish our southern wall here. I wonder if our skills have gone up from this at all. I'm not sure. We should check. Those shutters seem to take a lot of time to build. Because this wall seems to be going quite a lot, quite a bit faster. Not quite a lot faster, a little bit faster. Okay. What skill would it be? Building? Yeah. Doesn't look like we gained anything from it. I'm going to start working on the northern wall now. Then we just have the 
western walls, the corners, and the floors. And I think I, after this episode I'll just do the rest of it off screen. Because you've seen quite a lot of this already. Like, you watch me build the entire smokehouse on screen. So yeah. I'm gonna cut it in a little bit and then I'll do this off screen, check the episode, and upload. So, that's the plan. When we come back, the house should be finished. And I'll see you then. Bye guys! See you next time.